Wonka is directed by Paul King and stars Timothy Chalamet as Willy Wonka, and this is his origin story. With dreams of opening a shop in a city renowned for its chocolate, a young and poor Willy Wonka discovers that the industry is run by a cartel of greedy chocolatiers. I'm going to be as blunt as possible. I had very low expectations for this movie. I didn't even really want to see it. I know it's weird, a lot of people are excited for this movie, but I just didn't care. I of course have seen Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, it's a movie that I really like, and I remember seeing Charlie and the Chocolate Factory in theaters and thinking that that version of Willy Wonka might just murder me. And it's really not fair that I felt that way going in, because Paul King directed Paddington and Paddington 2, two phenomenal movies. The second one being considerably better than the first, which was already good. With just those two movies, he really cemented himself as someone who understands wholesome family entertainment that's very whimsical, that will make you feel great, while also making you laugh. And he really showed a sure hand for understanding the fantastical situations that those movies both have, where characters just acknowledge a talking bear, and he's floating around on an umbrella, and nobody goes, that's weird, I don't normally see that. And I have to say, Wonka really surprised me. Now keep in mind, I'm reviewing this before there's any number on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't know what the score is. I'm gonna post this when the embargo lifts. People could hate it, people could love it. I'm just going in completely blind. It's a really fun thing to do when you have no preconception based off of a score from some website. The thing that impressed me the most about the movie is that it really does stand on its own two feet. It's very much so its own story. Wonka here is meeting new characters in a new place and learning how to navigate a complex set of rules at a tavern that's run by Olivia Coleman. And in some ways, it becomes a bit of a prison break movie that also relates to someone who has a deep affection for making chocolate that can have a number of bizarre effects on you if you eat it. If you've seen Paddington 1 and 2, this movie is infused with those exact type of vibes. Very wholesome and lovable characters, humor that's so adorable that you can't help but smile, as well as pristine cinematography, camera work, and special effects. The major difference between this film and the vibes of Paddington 1 and 2 is that this is a musical. I found myself annoyingly enjoying the songs, and I only say that because I'm a bitter old man. <laughs> Truthfully, I did enjoy most of the music here, but there's a central relationship in the film that I think is where all of the heart lies, and that's between Wonka and a young girl affectionately named Noodle. These two find themselves trapped in this tavern along with some other unfortunate souls who have to continue to work there because of a contract they never should have signed without reading the fine print. This is where the prison break element comes into Wonka, and I found all of that very heartwarming, and I won't lie, I shed a tear at the end of the movie. Didn't expect to, really didn't expect, I didn't even really feel like watching it. But I will never again doubt Paul King. I think that he's a terrific filmmaker, and clearly he has established a strange sort of place in the universe of wacky British humor supported by amazing visuals that makes you feel really good. Timothy Chalamet as Wonka. A lot of people have talked about this in so many different ways. And I feel like it's just one of those things where he is so famous now that people just talk about everything endlessly. He's like the current celebrity that people won't stop talking about. And it happens every, you know, decade or so. I think he does very well in the movie. Obviously, performers like Gene Wilder and Johnny Depp have come before him, but he definitely makes his own path here as this wide-eyed optimist that believes anything can happen if just the right person would taste his chocolate because that's how much he cares about making it. And you really feel that passion. And I think as you watch this, you can attribute it to anything that you might be passionate about. You don't have to want to be the best chocolate maker in the world to relate to Willy Wonka here because he just cares that much about his craft and he really does view it as an art form and i liked how the villains in the movie who are essentially this group of people who want to make sure that chocolate is always very expensive so the poor people can't afford it in fact one of them can't even say the word poor without vomiting <laughs> and i love how the film doesn't ever really take them seriously. It is very much so with a wink and a smile that these characters are as evil as they are. But you can look at what these characters are imposing upon the citizens of this town and see plenty of real world parallels. Look, I don't know if everybody will like this movie because some people really do have such an entrenched love for that original movie and I just like it. 
and I enjoyed the second one as weird as it is. And I think that's what I enjoyed the most about it, actually. And so I can watch this movie with, as I said, zero expectations and be surprised by the craft and then realize that I'm an idiot for even thinking that Paul King wouldn't try his damnedest to make the best movie he could. And that's exactly what he did. I'll be very curious to hear what you guys think of Wonka when you see it. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Look forward to more videos very soon. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.